this is pretty awesome. If you're staying at Great Lakes Campground, these are the showers for Great Lakes Campground and it's very clean. And then it has the shower head, the shower area. Now this is down the street from the campground, the showers, but they're very clean showers here with little lockers. If you're staying at Great Lakes Marina Campground. This is the MWR where you purchase the Disney tickets from. And then you have the laundry facilities over at the MWR if you're staying on the campground. While we were I was standing here, I was looking at the the all the lakes. It is amazing how they all really kind of connect all the lakes and you could get all the way to the east coast right there. And then when you walk out the MWR, this is building 13. The marina is right here. They have gas uh, and they have transient dockage also. And then they got the map for where the camping is and the beach house. Right out the MWR within walking distance, there's the kids park. Oh, on my shoulder for the kids to uh, play at. There's gazebos for you to sit and eat right there. And then if you follow this straight, there's the beach house with the beach right here. And we're actually driving to the campground right now. I'm gonna stop at the PX because I wanna grab a bite to eat. This is Nun Beach right here. Currently it's not swimming right now. It's only April right now. There's no lifeguards out or nothing like that. But there's the parking for Nun Beach. And then straight ahead is going to be the campground. Okay, here's some more of the beach right here. We just passed the beach house and then straight ahead from the beach right here Great Lakes Naval Station Beach is the campground and for the 30 amp service is $21 a night You can rent stuff over here. I believe you can rent these kayaks and all that the canoes the kayaks and all that right there But if you are staying in the van if you are sleeping in your vehicle it is $21 a night they do have tent campsites, but if we have the sleeper van, so we have the van for van life. So if you are staying in your van, it's $21 a night. And here's the gazebo right here. And see, there's the beach on this side over here. And then there's the campground right there. So for the fees right now, it's uh, April 2023, is $21 a night. So I'm gonna pull in here and take a walk around the campground. Okay, so this is the campground at Great Lakes MWR there's the beach right there you can see the beach right there oh this one says keep off the grass all right so there's the campground area now the showers are uh, maybe three minute drive that way where the showers are and here's the benches that you can sit down and relax on like literally open up your vehicle get out or whatever and this is your view right here for the weekend so I'm going to check out the bathrooms because they looked closed right here. So let me cut through two of the vacant pads. So they do have the pads and they have the 30 amp and the 50 amp pads over here. This is how you know somebody's been here for the season because it's a completely wrapped up. Look at us it, all wrapped with insulation under the bottom on the top and everything completely taped off and wrapped up. But I'm headed to the bathroom right now to check the bathroom out. Uh oh the men's bathroom is closed hmm I wonder if this is the only one that's not good all they need is a door there's no water there's no sinks in the men's bathroom but it's closed this is the, the toilet if you don't have a commode the restrooms are for registered campground patrons only are located south of here in the beach house and are available 24 7 so the beach house has restroom 24 7 we'll check those out but when you get out of your uh rv over here well the men's restroom is down so that's kind of bad for right now but you see it's just a commode you got to wash your hands in your own place but when you get out that's the sight when you wake up in the morning the whole great lake we'll take a ride to the beach house and we'll go ahead and check out their bathrooms over there all right, so that's where the bathrooms were. So you got to come out and you make a left. 
and you got checking at the building. I didn't even know if I did I didn't even ask if they had so the beach is over here right in here and the next building right up the road is where the 24 7 bathrooms are and that's considered the beach house right there but I don't know if it's during the regular season but you see it's not even a, a minute ride up the road and we arrived at the beach house which is at the beach here's the parking right here so I was gonna check out the restrooms this is building 10 so there's the beach right there beautiful this is the beach house right here and the campground is one minute up the road that way it has 30 amp 50 amp and even if you've got a van lifer and you're staying in your van it's $21 a day it's 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 if you're in staying in your vehicle you have to stay on the campground but then you have this all day long all day long uh, no glass bottles in this building looking for the restrooms here's the men's restroom let's see building 10 will be secured for winter season freshwater access showers restroom will not be available yeah so it's closed right still April so it's closed so then you would have to use the restrooms in the main building that's two minutes up the road the other way and that's where the restrooms the shower the washer and dryer and during season you could use these restrooms which we will be back to come check it out but if you're staying at great lake ground i mean you open up and and this is what you're looking at completely amazing we're van lifers we have the van we don't we really don't stay in the tent we have the six person tent but we don't stay in and we stay in the van so we'd stay over there uh but the bad thing with the van life is i i, I have pee bags for me but my wife will not use them she'll actually go all the way to the bathroom and the shower is over there talk to you later subscribe like and share so i'm back at great lakes mwr down that way is the beach and the campground but i was checking the hours of operation tuesday through saturday 8 30 to 4 30 winter hours tuesday through saturday 8 30 to 4 30. oh man that wasn't good to hear that um the beach wasn't open last year this is 2023 so 2022 the beach wasn't open last year because they didn't have a life enough lifeguards because they need the lifeguards for the pools and the beach so they left the pools open but they didn't have the beach open but normally it's open on memorial day so i'd venture to say the beach house would be open on memorial day but this building is only tuesday through saturday they're closed sunday monday from 8 30 to 4 30. all right well either way that's a little bit about great lakes naval station so uh i don't know why the men's bathroom door didn't have in it I'm not against using the bucket, but my wife wouldn't want me in the van using the bucket. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.